Hey guys, um, welcome back to Elite Sports Network. Um, in this episode, um, we're going to just be talking about the identity, future, and reputation of Oregon after last week's loss against the Stanford Cardinal. Um, you know, obviously, that's you know a terrible blow to Oregon that loss um, because you know the the goal of the season was national title. Now let's get to the BCS championship, and now that is virtually impossible given their loss to Stanford. Um, so a very big downer for Oregon, for its fans. And the second year in a row they've lost to Stanford just makes it that much worse. Um, so we're, we're just going to kind of break down, you know, where Oregon is at as a program right now and how they need to, what they need to do to get to the top and get to the BCS championship. Um, obviously, um, things, you know, Oregon, you know, I think Oregon got a little overconfident for a while there and, you know, really – believed in themselves as the, the best in their country. And, you know, I think they kind of needed to realize what their weaknesses were a little better. Obviously, you know, it's great to have that confidence and that swagger. But, um, and I'm not saying that they were too cocky, that they were too, oh, we can score on anyone. I think they took Stanford at face value for real this time, um, you know, just like they did last year. And I'll talk about, you know, or just like they, like they didn't last year. And due to that loss, they, you know, took it a lot more seriously. And, you know, it might not be a, most much of their fault that they lost, but I think that was some of it is, you know, the aura of this program has been shattered um, in their eyes and of people around the country. And identity of Oregon meaning, you know, who are they, you know? all the, This whole time, every year they build up. We're not just a crazy offense. We're the best team in the country. We're, we're great. We can take SEC. We can go to the championship game. Or this, you know, they spend all year building that up and just, just give us a chance, just give us a chance. You know, we can take the SEC. We want Bama. And then they lose to Stanford, who's a poor man's Bama. Um, run, power run game, crazy defense. Um, that's, Al that's Alabama for you. That's Stanford for you. Um, you know, Oregon, you know, that's their identity. And I think it's a little of, a, you know, rep reputation. And this kind of fits with identity and reputation. Reputation inside themselves. Who are we? Um, how do we feel? And then the second thing, how do other people feel? And who are we? What do we feel? Is I think that the Oregon Ducks learned a lot of humility, what they need to get better at during that game. They realized, hey, we're not quite there yet. Let's not overshoot ourselves. Um, I think the directors of the athletic department, all that, you know, they just kind of got it into, got it to, got to their head a little bit. They need to regroup, say, this is what we need to get better at if we want to win. And, um, to other people, like I said, you know, it's, they want to become that, no, we're not just this little, oh, uh, we have this crazy offense for a couple years. They want to be a powerhouse team um, that makes crazy offense work. And it's hard to do that, um, to really be super, super successful with that kind of an offense. Obviously, Bama doesn't have that. Um, Florida State doesn't really have that. Um, the undefeated teams left, you know, Ohio State kind of does, but not to that extent. Um, you know, all those teams. And, you know, Oregon, it'd be great if they had made it work, but, you know, they just... The way they play just doesn't work against Stanford, and I mean maybe it's not the offense. It's not really the offense. It's a lot of the defense too, um, you know that couldn't that doesn't really couldn't live up to it. Couldn't you know stop Stanford, but anyway you know they've like I said they've been building all this time this reputation um, of who people see they are, and then they lost to Stanford last year at Austin Stadium, um, and people said oh you know it was just a fluke loss. You know Stanford's a great team. You know, they just have the tools to shut down Oregon, you know, whatever. Um, so, or, and then Oregon just came back and said, you know, Rose Bowl or Fiesta Bowl, yeah, we, we deserve that. You know, I didn't really think Oregon, you know, they could have gone to the national championship game definitely last year. I think more than this year. I think Notre Dame should not have been in that championship, and Oregon or someone else even should have. You know, maybe Oregon didn't deserve it this year, and I don't think they do now with that loss to Stanford. Um, Florida State does more. But with no team like Florida State last year, I think Oregon easily should have been in that championship. But anyway, that's a whole other discussion. I'm just saying, you know, it was like, it was a fluke loss. It was it was Alabama losing to Johnny Manziel and A&M. It was just, you know, they just had the right mixture of certain things to beat the team. And that's what you game plan. That's a good coach, you know. This is what we need to beat this team. This is how we're going to do it. And they knocked off um, Alabama. And that's the same thing Stanford did to Oregon. They just found the right combination of, you know, strength and power and play making and play calling and knocked off Oregon. And then they came into this year, and Oregon's even stronger. Um, you know they've got top, they've got five or six players, I believe, projected to go first, th could go th first three rounds of the draft, first four rounds. Um, that's great for Oregon. Um, 
And, you know, they were doing great, great start to the year. I think they were a little underrated this year with Baylor, Florida State, um, those teams making all the news. They were doing better than this year than they ever have, Oregon. Um, even with the loss of Kenyon Barner and Kiko Alonso and Deion Jordan, you know, their corners, you know, Ifu Akempri, um, and the other, the rest of the backfield, um, they're all playing great. But people underrated Oregon. 57-16 over Tennessee didn't mean as much as 70-10 to over Colorado did last year, which I think is absurd. But they're one of the best teams in the country. And then they lose to Stanford again. And I think that's that's really made um, Oregon lose a step a lot in what people think. You know, people, you know, I think they'd finally gotten that reputation of we are a national power. Once again, Stanford bowling Oregon just shows they're just a weak little speed, not little, weak speed team that doesn't know what to do against teams like Stanford and the SEC. And, um, you know, I don't mean to bash Oregon because I'm a fan and I still think they could go to the national championship game and play a great game against Bama. I think they're better than Florida State or maybe at the same level. I shouldn't say better. I think they and Florida State should have a great, would have a great matchup. But, um... They've shown, you know, we aren't there yet. You know, we need to get bigger. We need defensive linemen that are huge. We need big O-linemen who are also fast. Um, that's what Oregon needs um, for the future. Um, because once again, Stanford bowling them just showed that you can power run over these guys and maybe shut them down if you're athletic enough. And it's just it's kind of reduced Oregon, again, that glamour and that flash that's great, but they want to also be tough and powerful and be one of the best teams now they're just you know a little a little bit more of a gimmick, um, flash to them now than a overpowering flash. But I still think Oregon, you know, we can't totally give up on them because of this. They're still going Fiesta or Sugar or something along those lines. They're still a top three team in the country. Um, looking for the future, um, Oregon needs to get bigger strength, and O line and D line size, shut down running game linebackers is what Oregon needs. Um, they, and that's that's looking good on the recruiting trail. I think they can really get that um, under Hilfrich. The thing is, though, is their window might be closing. Um, Mariota, Ifu Akrempre, um, Goras Hanzu, center, DeAnthony Thomas. You know, this team has so many good stud athletes right now that um, this might be one of their last chances at a BCS championship unless they can really hit the recruiting trail hard. So in the future, speed or strength and size to go along with all the speed Oregon if you can get bigger and shrug off that, you know, frailish reputation, you'll be um, good to go. And, you know, if you can beat teams like Stanford, you'll be a national championship um, in the national championship every year. So thanks for watching, guys.